In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Today is the great feast day of St. Benedict. So on the calendar, normally March 21st, but the Sunday uh, has us transfer it to this Monday. And so therefore we ask for St. Benedict's intercession. Now on one occasion, St. Benedict was pensive and on the edge and he called in Maurus to see him because Placid was sent out to fetch some water by the lake near there near Subiaco. And so, without any questions, Maurus went off to check on his good friend. They both were boys at the time, uh, Placid. And Placid was pulled away by a current in the lake and was almost nearly drowning. And Maurus went out so quickly to get his friend and bring him back to shore. And once on the shore, Maurus was shaking and the two boys spoke to one another, Placid, I just walked on the water. (laughs) And Placid said, It wasn't you who saved me from drowning. Rather, I saw the cowl of our father Abbot over my head. And I grabbed it. And I reached up. And there, that's what saved me from drowning. And Maurus stared in amazement. But father Abbot is in his cell. Look, he's not here. So confused, the two boys hurried back to see St. Benedict. And as the two boys presented themselves before Father Abbott, now he wasn't on edge since he saw them both there. He was now relieved of their safety. And St. Benedict said, Both of you have learned a lesson in obedience. Maurus, to go after Placid without asking any questions, had he delayed the slightest asking Why should I do this? Why this and why that? Placid would have drowned, but he went right away. When I when I told you to go, he went you went without any questions. And Placid for having going out to the lake to begin with to fetch the water. Both were doing God's holy will. And it was the prayers of Saint Benedict that brought about this great miracle. So many times this miracle was described to all in Subiaco. Maurus walking on the water, or I should say running on the water. And Placid seeing the cowl hood of Father Abbot over his head. And each owed his life to the prayers of this good Father Abbot. Now maybe we especially the sisters here, will not be able to walk on the water, so don't go try out the pond over there. Uh, it will, when it probably will not work. But we too will be able to turn the tide, listen to this, turn the tide of some evil in the world by our hidden, silent obedience the directions of our superiors, the instructions of our, of our, uh, our seniors, yeah, are all in a chance and a possibility to stem, to nick at the bud a lot of these evils that are swirling around the world. Remember the Benedictine order, without it, we would, we would not have a Europe at all. Europe was so on the threat, the threat of extinction. And the barbarians just raised the entire Italy to the ground. Um, People were uneducated. There were a lot of problems. But yet through that simple monastic obedience and the peace within the monastery walls, chanting all day, praying all day, working all day, charitable all day, and even in your case, maybe some cooking all day. (laughs) Uh, And 
Europe was able to find that lifeline again. They were able to revive all of the Greek Roman culture and Christianity was able to reef surge again. So as we continue this Mass, let us ask St. Benedict's intercession uh, that we may obey with peace and with love in our hearts. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.